I want to stress to you guys how much men's mental health is very important. Until then, I'm going dark. What's going on guys, Beastful here with another video. We're here somewhere different today. We changed the scenery up a little bit. I decided to go on a nice little walk after, <coughs> after breakfast when we went to Starbucks. And it felt nice, you know? It felt nice to be outside actually and take, like, you know, breathe that fresh air and, you know, take a walk. Because I was watching uh, Linda's new video last night. I was editing episode six and her newest video made me realize that, you know what? I need to take in more nature. So we decided to go on a walk today. But as you guys saw this morning, we weighed in at a new all time low, 164.9. And I can't stress enough how happy I am because I haven't been that weight ever since pre-Rona. So that was two years ago, maybe even more. But for the past how many weeks, it's my weight has been fluctuating uh, and I haven't gotten below 166 and I was a little bit of concerned but at the end of the day like my physique was still getting tighter I was still getting leaner my strength was still up and I mean honestly I can't really complain about that before we head back to the car guys I kind of wanted to briefly talk about something that I have been dealing with for a little while now and I feel like I need to say this personally um, I talked about it on my Instagram and I got a lot of love from it and I wanted like the thing is about social media guys it could come off very you know very f I guess fake like when people post things like people post things for likes and stuff like that but for me guys whenever I post something it's it's very true it's very like true to my heart and I wanted to show you guys that by talking to you personally about it so yeah uh, brief I'm not gonna make this really long uh, because if you guys do have not seen the post go on my Instagram, it's the men's mental health post with me sitting on the railing, like one of these railings and staring into the sunset. But I want to stress to you guys how much men's mental health is very important. Uh, and it should be, it shouldn't be talked down upon because society has taught me and has taught us that men's mental health is not in the category of mental health period because again when people see men depressed sad honestly emotional they think that that man is weak that man is not a man at all and honestly guys all i can say right now confidently that it does make you a man it doesn't make you weak because at the end of the day if you don't feel anything you're just going to be a robot and it's hard to explain because I'm very passionate about it and I don't want to go off on a tangent but like the thing is is like I want to shed light on it guys I was speaking about myself I feel depressed a lot of the times I feel sad I feel lost I feel emotional most days out of the week and all I can say is that like in order for me to not be a weak man and a weak-minded man I have to be able to use this depression and use this, you know, use this sadness or emotion to fuel my reasoning to get out of it. So the thing is, is like, what makes you a weak man? I mentioned this in my post. What makes you a weak man is the way that you handle a lot of these things. All I can say is, guys, is don't be afraid to feel. Don't be afraid to show emotion. Don't be afraid to show empathy it doesn't make you a weak man and that's all I can say and I hope you guys take take that piece of advice like and, and absorb it especially my guys out there man 